Hello and welcome to this special report here at XM.com. We'll be discussing what the market is pricing in for 2024 in terms of central bank rate cuts. I'm Maria Pachardis and joining me is investment analyst Achilles Yorgulopoulos. So Achilles, let's begin with the Fed and the ECB, which seem to be on similar paths. What are the market expectations for these central banks and do they align with economic sentiment? Good morning, Maria. It's been two weeks into the new year and the market is trying, of course, to digest a very busy calendar, which included inflation reports from the US and Germany. So what's in store? What's essentially priced in for 2024? As you mentioned, we're still going to start with ECB and the Fed. The market is looking for at least six rate cuts, which is a very significant number. And this is despite the fact that there is an obvious divergence between the two economies. Actually, since publishing the report, the Fed pricing has increased, so it has surpassed the ECB expectations, which continues to be odd, especially as some Fed members have been talking about rate cuts. The end product of that is that essentially Euro dollar has not been making lower lows as someone would have expected, considering the state of the economy on those two regions. Okay, moving on to other central banks, such as the Bank of England, Bank of Canada, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, Reserve Bank of Australia, and the Swiss National Bank. What should we expect there? Yes, the next in line for expected rate cards are the Bank of England and the Bank of Canada. Bank of England, of course, is very interesting. The market expects more than 120 basis points of rate cuts. The first rate cut, though, is expected to come at least two months after the ECB, which seems a bit odd. The problem, of course, with the Bank of England is that they have a very high inflation rate and we're going to have some pre-election shenanigans. Uh, as we have wrote in our previews, 2024, we're going to have elections, general elections in the UK. Bank of Canada is a bit more interesting because it's probably going to cut rates ahead of the Fed, which is, which is kind of peculiar. In terms of the remaining central banks, the RBNZ is expected to do four rate cuts, despite being at the last meeting quite hawkish. SMB and the RBA probably going to do at least two. The interesting fact about the RBA is that if China starts to grow, which is a big if considering what happened in 2023, maybe there is a delayed start in terms of the rate cuts from the RBA, RBA if they do any, of course. Uh, if China surprises on the upside in terms of its growth, then the RBI will probably might opt for uh, keeping uh, rates unchanged. And finally, what about the Bank of Japan? Are any rate moves priced in? Yes, the BOJ is the outlier again. The market is expecting around 16, 17 base points of rate hikes in 2024. Looks like it could be wishful thinking. However, there is a build-up of expectations that at some stage they're going to do a 10 basis points rate hike. Uh, of course, we have to wait until March, April when we get the new wage details. But it is the only central bank that the market believes that they might increase rates in 2024. Achilles, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us for this special report here at XM.com.